With the situation in Syria, Israeli citizens are very much concerned of what's going to happen after the war. Is Assad going to stay? Are the rebels going to take over? It's a good question. We went outside to the streets of Jerusalem, Israel, the capital of Israel, and asked citizens what do they think. I think the best is if Assad will stay because you don't know what's going to be after he is going to live. But the same thing as Egypt and um, other country what was the uh, Gaddafi country, yeah. Libya. You don't know what is going to be after that. So you know the pro you know you know what's the shit right now. You know how to deal with that. After he's gone, you don't know what's going to be there. How uh, it's going to be. How fanatic is it going to be? I'm thinking about the Israeli interests and, uh, and the Arab interests because they don't know how to deal with democratic even if it's going to be like this. The, you can see what's going on in Egypt right now. They don't know how to deal with that. And uh, this is the way how they live. They, they understand um, this way of life. Maybe they are not ready right now to change it. Maybe in the future, but not now. Syria will not attack Israel. They have too, too, too much to lose. It's up to us to deal with this sphere, you know. It, you know, of course, it's a global issue. And we do care about the civil rights of, you know, the citizens of Syria. But the bottom line is we do have to worry about what's going on here in our country, in Israel. Whatever that we have to do to maintain stability, in this area, you know, we can't, we can't have a situation where, like, you know, I just read in the news, Assad is aiming missiles at Tel Aviv. I mean, that's a little bit ridiculous. Kind of reminds me of the Cuba, Cuba crisis going on with, what went on with America, and it's just unacceptable. And we have to solve that problem. We can't have missiles being pointed at Tel Aviv, you know? We have millions of people that can be injured by, you know, a missile exploding. And uh, whatever it is to neutralize that, Whatever it is, I don't know, but whatever it is that someone can do, that's what, that's what should be done. I do believe it's stability. If that means uh, supporting one of the rebel factions, then most definitely that would be my opinion to do so. Um, but we must choose wisely which rebel faction we do support, because in the, when the day comes that they do take over, the worst thing that could happen was that they turn on us next with the weapons that we supply them or whatever it might be that Israel does to support them. If the rebels will be uh, uh, in lower, lower there in uh, Syria, it's, uh, it's going to be a big problem everywhere, like it was in Egypt or everywhere. More and more people will come and do uh, this uh, revolution. And it's going to be big chaos. I'm not sure there is a right side and a wrong side because Eventually, even though the cause is just and the, the Syrian people want their own democracy and their own freedom, the way, the, the, the method isn't working right now. And this war is collecting a lot of victims along the way, so I can't really say. Even though Assad wasn't a friend to Israel, and that's an understatement. Um, he was very, um, how should I say it? Uh, he was very wise. He knew the area. Uh, he, he was very, ah, lost my English. Shakul. Very, he was thoughtful. He was very thoughtful about the next step he's going to take with regarding to Israel. I don't know if the rebels are. <laughs> and I don't really know who will lead Syria if Assad's regime will fall. If one country invades the territory of another, eventually we'll be responsible for whatever outcome. Uh, and I don't know if Israel can deal with that right now, but I don't think it's possible for us as a democratic country to sit by and watch this person killing his own people. Right now I think Israel should just sit in the side, watch everything happen, not bother anybody. I think it's better for us, you know, if your enemies are killing your, themselves, it's even better for you. Less, uh, less trouble for you, for us. 
that's it. You could see what happened in uh, uh, in Egypt and uh, Libya. And you can see that uh, the second the rebels took over, it's still chaos, it's still nothing is paradise. And uh, Assad is not the, maybe the best choice, but uh, he's the normalist one. <laughs>